couple some tense moments in Cedar City today as Southern Utah University gets thrown into lockdown following a report of an active shooter. Yeah, the campus has since been cleared, but as we learned from new special Sandra Adams, it is still unclear how or why this all began. Andrew? Well, police say this afternoon that they were not able to find anybody matching that suspect description that was initially put out or really anything beyond the suspicious call that started all this led to a massive police response and a lot of anxious waiting. It was literally like someone looked at their phone and then saw the email. It came out of nowhere. Oh, we're on lockdown. There's, there's supposedly a shooter. A campus alert at Southern Utah University and students quickly started filling in the blanks. I kept getting texts from my friends and my people I did not know. And then later on, there were rumors of shootings in the science building. As entire buildings waited to be cleared, everyone was left to guess what was happening. I think the texts that like we got about sounds that maybe sounded like gunshots made it a little bit more real. Police say it all started with a suspicious phone call and a threat of an active shooter. And soon officers from multiple jurisdictions converged on the campus. The SEU Science Building and its neighbors the were both searched and cleared of a potential threat. In the end, investigators determined no shots were fired where they were supposedly heard. And the focus turned to how this all began. We did have something, a similar incident happen about a year ago, a year and about five days. Police have been through this type of situation before here, as have students who were stuck in their rooms for half the day. Three and a half hours, so two and a half hours longer than we would have been in there. It was more just kind of like, okay, like, when can we get out? In the end, students found relief when police said it was okay to leave. They gotta do what they gotta do. Though the outcome of a massive police response left more questions than answers. Even if you get a threat, even if it's not true, they you still gotta do something about it. Well, police told us earlier that even the FBI was involved, so this definitely got the full court press. Again, that initial call is now under investigation. Classes and activities have been canceled for the rest of the day here on campus. Back to you. Yeah, you just got to wonder what started this all. I'm sure we'll get some answers in the days to come. Andrew, thank you. Now, this story left thousands of students, parents, and staff terrified today. Be sure to stick with KSL as we navigate the impacts of this event, and you can stay up to date with the latest by downloading the KSL Plus app.